everybody, I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in our let's play of in our brand new let's play of Hudson 4. Well, first off, I wanna thank you all. My scroll my strike got removed, I have no strike anymore from YouTube. But nevertheless, how you see we have a new background. We started already a let's play as Canada <coughs> in the together for victory DLC or or expansion. And now we are going to start a let's play as one of the other Commonwealth countries, which will be the British, the British Roy. So the crown jewel of the British Empire, the Royal of India, is a strange combination of imperial power and imperial powerlessness. A tiny elite of British civil servants rule over a vast subcontinent filled with hundreds of millions of subjects. From their ranks, recruits in the, from their ranks, recruits of the Indian Army, which fought bravely in the Great War. Indian leaders hoped that the sacrifices made in the last war would help India gain her independence from Britain. But so far, that hope has been disappointed. With a new war looming, many believe that the time has come to take that freedom by whatever means necessary. So, our leader will be Lord Lin Lining Tho. Lord Lining Tho. We are not aligned, we have an authoritarian regime, we have no elections, and the ruling party is the ENC, the Indian National Congress, I think. So we have the, uh, the Indian National Congress, we have a agrarian, so we have a agrarian society, we have a minus 69% uh, recruitable population factor, we have princely states, we have minus 0.1, so getting independent as India is quite a challenge, I can tell you that, because of the daily Authority progress gain, which is 0.1 per day. We have the All India Forward Block. Uh, the All India Forward Block thinks that British disengagement from India is taking too long. A strong, uh, even militant position must be taken. We have the Indian Gurkhas. The Gurkhas of the Punjabi and Nepalese Highlanders are very legendary for their military skill. They have served the uh, royal loyal loyally for many years and excel at all kinds of warfare. And the smiling Buddha. Scientists are close to unlocking the secret of atomic energy, and this will <laughs> lead to the creation of very powerful explosives. We cannot fall behind the quest for atomic weapons. Well, that's interesting, the smiling Buddha. So, we're going to play as the British Rai. We have well, Japan as a natural enemy, and I can tell you, tell you one thing we won't go fascist. So, we are gonna play on regular and with historical air focuses turned. Well, let's turn them actually. On or off? Let's turn them off, yeah. For this let's play, historical air focuses will be turned off to make the game more random. In our Canada game, they are turned on here, they will be turned off. Let's go and see how the game develops. Loading graphics, well, alright, we have 17 actors in total, but thank god we don't have the great suppression. So let's check our national spirit, these three I went through. At the risk of famine, the Indian system food production is very fragile. Even a small interruption might cause a collapse. Well, that's bad. So, we have a marginalized Muslim community, minus 10% national community, minus 20% recruitable population factor. <coughs> well, that's bad. So, Research, we have only two slots, so we are lacking behind. That's why I need a strong ally of the Commonwealth. That's for sure, we don't need the Commonwealth to uh, stay at our back. I won't break out <coughs> from them. We have, well, many states, so therefore we should be able to develop a good industry. Yep, we have only two, only two military factories, that's funny. That's bloody funny. Look at that, we have a continuous focuses. So if we unlock the focuses, we can uh, select one of these. That's interesting. Then um, we can do the all forward India block, Crips mission, British army support. Um, I think we're gonna seek out from the Soviets, but that's yet to sh yet to see. We can't go for the provincial elections. So we can do the lessons of the Great War. Um, I want to build up my industry. Great Indian Peninsula Railway. Right as town looking off since. Yeah, I'll meet this path. Strengthen ties with British investors. Great Indian Peninsula. Well, I mean, I can stay dependent from Britain for a while. I don't mind, to be honest. If I'm honest here. 
But first, we need a good base of civil factories, which I'm gonna build in these regions, not in Pakistan, because it may break out in the in these three regions. So three civilian factories are on the agenda, and after that, I will start militarizing. Yeah, we have one free naval dockyard, although really yeah, we can use it because we have oil. So we are, pro we are producing convoys with that. Our army is 11 divisions strong, which are only district forces. There are 99,000 men, big men, powerful. And I will just, well, yeah, we speed the game speed up, speed 5, because we have nothing to do, and select a good music to play. Let's yeah, dance your troubles away from Glen to Glen. Let's listen to uh, the attack. Or we are soldiers. The Royal Air Force. Yeah, okay, let's, let's listen to the Royal Air Force. Why not? Why not? Alright, so we have to get our industry up again. Let's say, I'd say three more civilian factories, and after that, I'll go for the others. Well, I decided I will go co communist, but I will stay, well, a British vassal for a long time. Because I want the British development to help us. So, but we, we are going to go communist, communist, yeah. Which will, well, here we have, well, we are occupying Pakistan, that's interesting. But we won't release Pakistan, that's for sure. The Great Indian Railway Peninsula is done. Let's select the industrial expansion. I want to get up my industry so fast as possible to a good level. The Allies, Nepal is Nepal of the Allies. Mm. Afghanistan, but we can't justify. Uh, are we, are we can't justify. Well, well, I mean, so yeah, we can't go for any war since we are a subject. Well, that means we can simply build up our army. Yeah. We can build up our army. Well, yeah. Um, only 0.1% is eligible for army. That's really bad. Oh, it's yeah, modified to 11% because of the agrarian society as well as the marginalized, marginalized Muslim community. I see. That's the problem. Give me one second, please. Alright, well, we got the basic machine tools and the industrial expansion focus. I'm gonna go for yeah, Disperse Industry and select the, um, I don't know, what's... Well, I need the research slot so far as possible. Therefore, let's go for the Tata Steel. Add some oil, yeah. Uh, let's get a communist demagogue. Can we do that? Communist revolutionary. Karam Singh Man. While workers rise up against their oppressors around the world, those who claim to have achieved class consciousness in the British rise to idly buy and wait for change to come from within a political system so thoroughly corrupt only a revolution could save us from it. So speak the new voices in the British Indian Communist movement, referring to the rule of ENC as a dictatorship of the bourgeois, they have begun calling for it to be brought out. Well, I hope I click the first one then. So, because I don't want a revolution. <laughs> so, alright. Tata still is being researched. So then. Peshawar. Yeah. We actually progress, progress in the Soviet Union. Soviet command has suffered greatly. Tata still is done. Let's. Oh, the civil war of Spain started. So, we have a war to. See here, let's see. Yeah, we are a part of the allies. Let's check what Canada is going. Canada is going for crown corporations. I have on this path. Well, Canada might go unhistorical as well. You don't know. South Africa is going for the South African steel. Uh, well, let's see. Will they abandon the Westminster or support the policy of appeasement? Let's get to see. The games of the sea. Of the 11th, no, of the 9th Olympiad. Oh, 11th. 11th, yeah. Not 9th. 11th. Alright then. Well, we have 
three leaders, they are all British of course. General Douglas Gracie, General Frank Missouri, and General Noel Bursford Pessier. Well, the desert fox is the... I don't know, I think, yeah. Do I have a desert plant? I'm gonna select him. Oh, we can't help the Spanish, unfortunately. Uh, they, that army is going to be named what? The first Indian army. Yeah. And our front will be renamed to. What's that? Oh, we have a combat lock? Nice. We have a win ratio, manpower loss, so that's interesting actually. We can see our losses to airplanes and ground forces now. That's great. I really like it. Going well, looking forward to see a war then. Alright, our front here will be named the Indian Front. Indian Fronts, yeah. Basic and thorough Indian Fronts. Well, now it's just sitting by and idly waiting for us to get independence. Don't know if mass 25.2. Well, we are losing it because of the princely states. So we have to get rid of it. How can we get rid of that? Well, we can't get rid of the Indianization of the army. Uh, less of the Great War, Indianization of the army. Then an Indian center, Indian Gorkhas. Jungle training. Oh, interesting. Less of the Great War. That's nice. Well, I like the focuses of the Indian tree. Uh, but nevertheless, let's see, yeah, we have still a deficit of 3009. Why do we have. Why is our. But that's it just growing more and more. We have no... I really don't know. Well, no, it's good. So our navy is not existing basically. We have no navy at all. We have to rely on the Brits, on the British navy, for, well, to help us. Well, we... Uh, well, China. Yeah. That's the problem. It's hard because we are ka losing. Progress. Well, it isn't that easy to get independent as India vets clearly for sure. So Indian Science, Indian Institute of Science is our next goal. Uh, all right, as well as some military factories now. Time to get them here. Some thoroughly made military factories. All they made in the Indian interior. Yeah. Italy took one state, Ethiopia was the next, 2,000 equivalent has been seized. So if I just could have, if I just could get this 2,000 equipment, it would be great. But I don't think that I'll be able to get it, unfortunately. Mechanical computing is done, thank god for that. We can go even for, well, improved, let's go for the train. So our army doesn't lag behind. As well as get weapons and equipment. Yeah, we'll need it always. I mean, no, no hurry for it, is it? Yeah. But for, yeah. so we'll go for the, I'll go for construction actually, since we have a 25% bonus on that. 315 out of 1,000 points until being able. Yeah, I'm losing it because of the country. Not that I like it, but what can I do because of that? Let's the smiling Buddha. 75%. Wow. So, I like that, but we have to get autonomous, therefore that's not possible. Yeah, not yet, so I'm gonna go for here, East India Railways. I have to get independent. I mean, not independent, that's too hard here. I have to go for provincial elections, but for that I need a yeah, 100%. I need well attention to be at least at 10%. Yeah, I'll go for Swaraj. <coughs> Swarai. Uh, quit India movement. Uh, army support. Well, I think I will first, yeah, get up my army because I have no army kind of existent. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, this build industry, of course, go for it. We have to focus on our I industry thoroughly. Yeah, we are in a clearly deficit. We have 100,000 troops and they are all, well, basic Indian divisions, which only consist of infantry brigades, so nothing special. Yeah, that's the problem. In front, well, 
I mean, we can surely use manpower as our advantage since we have a, well, I mean, total population of 333 million. The East India Railways are done. Let's go for the Ijapur Arsenal. Yeah. I don't know what the risk of famine means. Uh, I mean, what happens even if you go into a famine? Like, I don't see a negative impact of that right now. Oh, but we have to get more autonomous land colony. And then it says, despite. Nice, we have a free spot available. <coughs> then it says, what? Then it would say, um, despite the British industrial efforts to expand India's rail system, very few of the benefits of the expansion seem <coughs> to come to India. There's endemic corruption and double dealing in the transportation sector, and we must be seen to do something about it. Yeah, I guess. I guess they are right. Yeah, let's go for improved machine tools. It's still 1.2 thousand in. Deficit. Well, we are fully dependent from British, from the Brits. Oh, look, the British Malaya is a puppet as well. That's interesting. Uh, they can't get independent, so getting independent as for them is not possible. Is it? No. They will stay a puppet forever. Poor British Malaya. All right. Oh, they are a integrated puppet. Oh, they are a integrated puppet. They have to get the puppet first, and then they can break free. Well, I like that. I like that they completely overhauled the colonial system. Well, I mean, now colonial nations in Africa would be great, because to be honest, there is no use of these countries for Britain, except of its resources. What, they add resources to these countries? Well, only down below here, but here is still nothing. Class conflicts divide British Rye. The Communist Revolutionary Movement, once a French popular among radical academics in theory and problem makers in practice, has seen increased support among the British Indian working class. The fact that even more people choose to identify themselves with a class at all implies that Marxist ideas are spreading beyond those who actively seek to overthrow the government. The ENC members lament this development, longing for a time when British Indian was what people identified as first and foremost. Now their concerns are not unfounded. It could be argued that a revolution is already underway, occurring on several levels of society and maybe too late to stop it. The Communist Party has 42% support. We have no elections, therefore it's hard to overthrow them. I think I will just get the strength and ties with British in investors. I just want to get these factories for myself. Oh, well, I don't think it's worth it. Mm -mm, these little factories. <laughs> yeah, I'll not go for that. I'll not betray the Indian independence because of that. But still, wall tension is 0%, so that's. <coughs> I don't know. Go for the lessons of the Great War then, I'd say. We have 372 political power. Let's use it for our industrial concern and our military theorist. <coughs> oh, they have a name. Our theorist is named Rayendra Prasad. That's the name of our theorist. You still have deficit, but I will start training some Indian versions here in Delhi. Train. So it will take quite a time for them to get trains. Train 10, yeah. Let's create a full army, so let's train, not 10, let's train 20, 13. 13. Oh, I can't train more than 12 at once. 108,000 troops are in the training, and our population is raising, well, by close to a half million each month. That's nice. Well, I mean, it's India after all, so what we expect. Our air force is 80 planes strong, I'd say. Oh, wow. Stunning. Britain is doing the Cornwall ties. But can they like help us? They are doing the Cornwall ties. Um, well, I want them to develop the Reich. I really want them to develop the Reich. They should do that. Yeah, I need their help. Yeah. 
Oh, Britain help us. Uh, Britain in the, in the independence. Well, we will achieve it on our own, I think, I think. But our progress is just going down because of the uh, princely states. Yeah, what tension has to get higher. That's the problem. Only thing what we can do now is sit and wait. So therefore, let's speed up the game, not to make things that boring for you. Our plans will be I will take over Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, let's keep an eye for them, whatever. And then Iran, and then I will flood into Iraq and Saudi Arabia. This person industry is done. Great. Uh, let's go for construction too. For a minute, and we have three military factories. Yeah, sure. Get more infantry equipment. Just get it filled up. Filled up. Yes. Improve our doctrine. Marco Polo bridge incident is <coughs> underway. Let's go for Marta, fine. Japanese and all right now reading for me um, the Indianization of the army, fine. Uh, Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished inconclusively over the strategic Marco Polo bridge located just southwest of Beijing. China has rejected Japan's demands for an apology and territorial concessions, claiming instead uh, whatever. Well, Manchukuo is truly, well, fascist. Their industry is weak. We have 33 factories in total, not that bad actually. Yeah, our Indian, our, uh, well, English ruler is truly stronger than us. But we're focusing on the military sector right now. Yep, we are focusing on the military sector. <coughs> Well, I built it here because that area is, well, in the risk of being overrun by the Japanese army, which I don't want, therefore. The September Revolution, look to that. The notion that the communist movement represents the people has certainly gotten wind in its sails. Well, for that I have to play a communist music, uh, a comment and a theme. <coughs> Uh, where the public, uh, let's read again, the notion that the communist movement represents the people has certainly gotten wind in its sails in the British Rye, where the people, where the public support for the communist party has increased rapidly in the past months. Uh, but those who call for revolution are no longer this, a separate collection of guerrillas and disgruntled labor unions. The group behind the call for revolt is organized enough to form a government if they succeed. Nevertheless, if the revolution started now, it could hardly be executed without the role launching British Ryan into civil war. Should the revolutionaries risk tearing the nation in two to satisfy their impatience or wait for a better opportunity in the future? Yeah. Revolution is inevitable. The inevitable can wait, truly. Alright then, so just getting close. The British Rai, let's go the Allies. Uh, Alright, the Indianization of Army. Um, done soon. I wanna go for the Army, but I need nothing there. Yeah, military captain. Oh, I have only a captain of industry. But nothing else, that's unfortunate. Uh, political power gain is always helpful. Attack the national focus. Um, reads. Sindian Sandhurst. Uh, what's that? If we go for this way. Um, Indian Army, Indian Defense, Research Slots. Indian Gentlemen Officers. So let's go for the lines of the Great War. The Sikhs, the Sikhs have a strong military tradition and were highly decorated in the last war. The Lions of the Punjab form a strong regiment on their own and the region is ripe for further recruitment. Well, that's good. Let's do the Lions of the Great War then. Yeah, our progress towards becoming a Dominion isn't going good. Not at all. Not at all, unfortunate. World tension simply isn't rising enough for us to be, well, be good. Unfortunate. Industry, um, engineering, radio. I don't know actually. Let's get artillery. We even don't have artillery. That's a shame, truly. 
Alright, so let's get artillery and continue the game. Our troops are still training. Our refugee's army is 135,000 people strong. Well, so you're strong in that view. We still have a deficit of infantry equipment. And, well, surprise, surprise, the fascist of Spain won again. And the German Reich is not going for the uh, remilitarization of the Rhineland. That's interesting. And war tension has risen. So, in our next episode, we will do the elections. The, the, the provincial elections. So, thank you all for watching me in our new episode of our new Let's Play. As the British Rye in the um, Together for Victory expansion. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of this awesome stuff. I'm Sacred and I'm out. Have a nice day to you all.